And welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Zelda A Link to the Past. Last time, um, yeah, um, we struggled a bit with this one room, getting past this one room. Um, and we're still being followed by this maiden, quote unquote, which we actually know not to be not a maiden, but in fact, um, the master thief in disguise. We want, we, um, so what I think you have to do is you need to get um, on the floor above, the floor that seemed to have no, seemed to serve no purpose. Then you need to destroy a part of the floor so that sunlight can enter. Uh, hold on a second. Ah, th yeah, sorry. This was um, getting wor getting worried that um, the first floor might actually... Um, so the... This might not actually be the first floor, but um, a l the lower floor, so... I mean, this... I thought that this um, might actually not be the first floor, this floor there, okay. But it is the first floor, so we shall go there. Hmm. Yeah. And I'm not clear. A little. I'm not learning clearly. He got past it without getting hit. <sighs> and then. Uh, So, uh, then I hit my microphone there. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Sorry for reloading so much, but um, since there will, since there will be a boss battle coming up, I really can't afford to lose even just a bit of health. I really can't. You just have to... You just have to bear with me. And I just noticed that um, these clouds actually, they not just hurt you, but they also drain your magic level. The magic meter. Okay, you might be able to hit me, but I have an infinite number of reloads. Well, at least infinite Potentially infinite. Since I'm eventually going to die. And since I can only press a button so many times in a second. There is naturally a finite number of times that I could, in theory, uh, reload. But that number is so big that it doesn't matter. I will eventually get past you without taking damage. See? Quick save. And I can also just apply the same principle right here. But maybe um, I should actually try just... Maybe I should actually just try to be careful. Yeah. She, quote unquote, told us not to go this way um, for a reason. And that is the kind of enemy that I was talking about last time. The thing, the enemy that was imported directly from the first Zelda game, from the NES, um, which is not very tough, it doesn't seem to do much, but was put in this game for some reason. Yeah, and I think we have to destroy this floor, but I'm not sure whether we can, actually.
Hmm. Oh. And these these enemies, um, they are also in the first Zelda game. And I think this panel in the wall told us about um Yes! Told us about um No, didn't want to do that actually. Told us about, um, gave us the hint that we should be, um, should be wary of, of the, uh, ah, that's where we need, need to use the bombs. Of the master, of the master thief's um, deception. Let's use the bomb boss again. Ugh. Oh, thanks God. Oh, we can actually hit them with the um, boomerang. Yeah, I'm not losing any health here, sorry. Unfortunately, the maiden. Um, Um, ran away so we need to go back and after we've um, made a hole in the wall here we need to go back and find her find her again quick save Okay, um, next problem. So I need to make a hole there, but can't get there. Maybe I take a run up? No. Um, maybe I use the... There. Hmm. I think I need to, um, to make a hole there because, as you can see from the map, this um, this hole in the ground or this the part where light is shining on the ground is exactly above dungeon master's area. We need what we need to do is to make light shine on them, this area, and then take the master thief into the light, and then it will turn into the thief, and then can actually kill, um, fight the boss. But right now, we have the minor problem that um, minor problem that we can't reach this. We could use the bomb here, but um, that doesn't do anything. What? 
Yeah. That doesn't do anything. Um, hmm. I really don't know what to do here. Hmm. Okay, give me a moment and I will have figured this out. And I'm back. Um, sorry. <laughs> the solution is very simple. You can actually toss things in this game. I didn't know that. And I... Yeah, it's a bit... It's still a bit uh, tricky, but... Didn't actually know you could toss things in this game. I mean, and I knew that you could toss things in this game, but I didn't know that you could toss bombs. Okay, that's um, something I could have maybe thought of, but I didn't. Okay, so let's leave. Let's leave and not get not get hurt by these monsters. Or maybe they drop some hearts. That would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't drop a heart, so I need to reload. Because I can't afford... Can't afford to lose health. You will not drop a heart anyway. Will you? No. You will not drop a heart. You will drop, however, some useless gems that I don't need at all. Let's save. Then I, we need to find the Maiden, again. Ugh, blah, blah, blah. That's the problem. That's the problem. Uh, and, and go. Ugh. And go, and go, and go, and get hit, and reload. And again, go, go, yeah, oh, mother. Okay, I can clearly see my anger level rising. Too much Zelda. I hate you. I hate this game. See? My anger levels are rising. Let's... Ah. Okay, maybe I will afford to lose one piece of health. Okay, now we need to find the Maiden. Okay, I cannot afford to lose that much health. <clears throat> okay, let's quick save here in order to speed up the process. And get out of there without getting hit. Quick save. Quick load. Quick save because there are no enemies here. And then I think when we come back, folks, uh yeah, we shall try to find this maiden, quote unquote again. And then we will prepare, we'll get to the boss fight of this dungeon, which is by the way called Gargoyle's Domain. I've looked that up. So until next time, folks, until then.